guys, this is the TMD Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website, Live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Oh, it's gay as fuck. my The so called flying stalkers. Fashion your seat belt and get ready for the base. A lot of comments last week. Yeah, yeah. A lot of comments. A lot of a lot of engagement. I mean, I feel like we should be very, very clear. <laughs> we do not support Andrew Tate. Dude. <laughs> yeah. In any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Li- I don't think either of us said that. No, we didn't. And okay, so um, like the psycho that I am, I read a lot of them. Okay. Just read them. So I kind of, so I think there's like three main things to talk about. The first being the people trying to say that we or I specifically am an apologist or a supporter of Andrew Tate, like not at all the case. But the part that most people were really upset with was saying like he doesn't have an impact and those which i totally understand those two things i i think go hand in hand the first being it's an irrelevant thing to say oh if you don't platform him then he doesn't have any power because he's already been platformed Mm -hmm. right like he's been on every major podcast he uh has recruited like a ton of interest and you can't say he doesn't have an effect on anyone because he clearly does. Like, that's the whole reason we're even talking about. Mm. Well, yeah. that was the whole reason why I brought it up. Because I was just like, I can't believe how much influence this guy has. Right. That right. was the whole start of the conversation. Right. <clears throat> but, yeah, so to say, oh, he doesn't have an impact is just super ignorant. Like, that's a very, that that was. Did you uh, say that, though? He doesn't have an impact? Uh, more or less. I was saying, like, oh, if you just ignore him, then there's no, he doesn't have, an, he can't have an impact. Yeah, I mean, I thought that what you were saying was that, like, misogyny has been a thing in media, Mm -hmm. and he's just another reinvention of that. But here's the thing I think that is, that I think um, ignores the nuance of Andrew Tate. So that's kind of treating him like he's like some dickhead pickup artist, like selling a book, but I think that the difference is, and what makes him like uniquely shitty, is that at this point, he's running like this massive MLM scheme. He's got like a ton, a ton of attention. And I think ultimately, it's easy for us to be like, ah, just tune him out. Or like, oh, he's just like these other guys, like fuck him, uh, ignore him. That's easy for us to say. But we're not the women that now go outside and have to deal with like the dudes that are like fans of him or like trying to emulate him. So I think Oh that- yeah, I know dating or anything yeah like in a world where he's the most googled man yeah on the planet yeah and now you're just trying to figure out who you are and you got some like asshole on the other side of you at like a bar thinking like he's now gonna engage this like gender war with you and you're just like uh i thought we were here because maybe we liked each other right yeah, yeah. and now you got some asshole on the other side being like oh is this because you think you know like all that bullshit yeah yeah he's not a pickup artist selling a book like this dude's a fucking tumor like, yeah, I know. That's what like that was the issue. To see it on TikTok, where it's like every clip of him has like millions of likes and yeah. mil- and thousands of comments from dudes being like, "Yeah, this guy's the man." Mm-hmm. When he's saying shit like women should have their body count on their forehead, mm-hmm. you yeah, know, it's like yeah. Ultimately, the e- even though what we said last week wasn't promoting him in any way, it just comes across wildly just off the mark, right? And uh. So I, I get why people were upset. We don't support him at all. He's a piece of shit. We were never trying to echo the dude's sentiments or like prop them up in any way. That That's not 
at all what we were trying to do. Um, the way we came across, like it was just wildly ignorant. That part is super easy, like watching it back through the lens of what people are saying. It's like, oh yeah, no, I get why people are upset. I will say what is surprising is this kind of group of people that saying, leaving comments like, oh, I bet Noel keeps Alina's podcast money. And like even going as far as to like, she's been getting harassed like for the last seven days, like so consistently. And as much as what we said uh, may have come across ignorant, I don't think that's licensed to go harassing people close to us. Like that just feels like a super unnecessary step um, in what is ultimately like something that we're, we're perfectly capable of like discussing. And, you know, I, I just don't understand why people are excited at the idea that like, they're going to like, find out that we're bad people like oh we knew it it's like that part it was just ah i i, I didn't get that because i i don't believe we've ever carried ourselves in a way where we're we don't try to be like empathetic or like understanding yeah and uh he, he sucks you know we i don't want to spend any more time talking about him than we have to you know uh, the only thing i care about is the people that listen to the show get enjoyment out of the show and like you just reading what you guys have to say like uh i'm 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 a person cody's a person we're not uh we we don't get up here to like just fuck with people or just be, just to be contrarian for the sake of being so that's not like that's not our game so yeah i agree oh and i've seen some dudes being shitty to girls like in the comments and just like women in the comments like what i don't know what you're trying to accomplish there you're literally doing the thing that they're saying is the problem <laughs> so just don't do that um we're like we're we're grown men like we don't need you to go argue with people on our behalf we're perfectly capable of uh handling the situation so yeah i don't know just felt like saying that so yeah, uh, fuck that dude. Yeah, I agree. We don't support Andrew Tate in any way. Just to reiterate, we don't at all. Yeah. I just thought, I mean, it was, the reason, whole reason I brought it up last week is because I thought it was crazy how much how much influence he has right now. But I guess we didn't unpack that in the correct way. No, no, it was it was just kind of like we just hit it from like a 10,000 foot view. And um, I think, yeah, it, and, this dude has been assaulting everyone's fucking algorithms. I know, I know. And I want to be able to talk about this shit while still remaining empathetic and yeah, I mean, and you know, stuff, which I guess we didn't do as well as we could have, but I mean, he is the most Googled person right now, so... Yeah, he's, mean, a car, he's a car crash, for sure. Yeah, he's... We don't support him. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Took a brutal shit this morning. Did you? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Been pounding a lot of protein, trying to get my weight back up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Lifting? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm 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 back to plates on everything. Oh, it feels amazing. Oh. It feels amazing. Considering the nerve. Nice. It's been it's been, it's been good. Yeah. What'd you get up to this weekend? Um just chilled, honestly. Actually, no, I didn't. I trained really hard. Yeah? I trained a lot. Just a lot of hiking. Mm. Yesterday, I hiked almost 14 miles with 4,000 feet of elevation. I'm dying laughing at you hike, getting this 4,000-foot elevation hike, breathing in like good air. You get to the bottom, you're like, what's been up? And you get <laughs> reception. I thought he was supporting Andrew. What? Yeah. And you just start walking back up the mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and then just get to the top. You just get to the top and just lift your hands and just fall forward. <laughs> but it's just a hill. It's not a cliff. Yeah. Just, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It was tough, man. This fucking race is going to be a bitch. That's I'm kind of underestimated at a little bit, I think. That's hilarious. I've been training a lot of running, but not hiking. Yeah. Like I've just like kind of been like, oh, I've just been putting it off. Like, I'll I'll get one in. I'll get a nice long one in. And I just even this, like this is I did thirteen point six miles or something like that. So that's 
Like the race is 36 miles. Yeah. Of and I up, was dead. Of up? Yeah, it's like just over two times the amount of elevation that I did. Got it. So I did 4,000 feet. It's 10,000 feet. Got it. Like, I'm fucked. Like this thing when, is going to suck. When is it? Suck. When it's is like it? two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to suck. Your college mentality is not paying off here. What do you mean? Just do just studying late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's nah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'll, I'll be just, fine. I'll, I'll just, just like, yeah. Night before. I'll sneak one in at the buzzer. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'll sneak a hike in like maybe a week before, two weeks before, and that should, <laughs> that should be fine. It's not going to be fine. It's going to suck. I really did. I was thinking like, oh, man, I've been, I could, I mean, I'm like trained to run 20 miles right now. Like another 16 on top of that won't be that bad, which in itself is fucking stupid. Do you, do you but know then wh- add the elevation on to that. Damn. Damn, that's it. That's all I could say. Yeah, that's going to suck. But So that's what I did. And then I, outside of that, I just chilled. Doing a lot of wedding planning right now. So that's just like oh, yeah. taking up so much time. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Let me I, tell you. It's just like, you. you know, and it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just a lot of stuff. Like mm-hmm. the invite list and the fucking about our relationship section of the of the website. Just like stuff that people don't even read. It's just like you gotta the the design for the save the date, like everything. It's just No. You know. <laughs> no, I like doing it. It's just a no. lot of shit on top of everything else. Yeah. You know? No, I mean, that's what I'm gonna put in ours. Like no. I'm gonna print all like the the <laughs> like all the atypical, you know, program book like pamphlets and stuff for the wedding and all the about Alina Noel, no. <laughs> How they met NA. <laughs> Not available. Yeah, or just like, you know. <laughs> or like 404. Yeah, or just. Lo- Error it, retrieving. No, nah, no, nah, it'll just be Lorem Ipsum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything Lorem Ipsum. A quick Ipsum. brown fox jumps over a yeah. lazy. <laughs> it's like, wait, what the? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Helix Sleep. I've had my Helix mattress for a while now, and I'm obsessed with it. It was so quick to unbox. I can't believe how well I've been sleeping. I wake up feeling so rested and refreshed. Helix Sleep is a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. The Helix lineup includes 14 unique mattresses, including a collection of luxury models, a mattress for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. So how will you know which Helix mattress works best for you and your body? Take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes, and your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night risk-free trial. Try out your new Helix mattress, see how your body adjusts, and if you decide it's not the best fit, you're welcome to return for a full refund. Everybody is unique, and everyone sleeps differently. That's why Helix has several different mattress models to choose from, each designed for specific sleep positions and feel preferences. They have models with memory foam layers to provide optimal pressure relief if you sleep on your side. They have models uh, with a more responsive foam to cradle your body for essential support in stomach and back sleeping positions, plus enhanced cooling features to keep you from overheating at night. I took the Helix quiz and was matched with the Helix Twilight mattress because I wanted something that felt firm and uh, I'm a big side sleeper. Nice. Um, Yeah, and it's a huge upgrade over what I used to have. Plus, Helix mattresses are American made and they come with a 10 or 15 year warranty depending on the model. And remember, you get to try it out for 100 nights. Um, They're very confident that you'll love it, but in the event that you don't, uh, they will pick up the mattress uh, for you and they'll give you a full refund. Don't want to take our word for it? Helix has been awarded the number one mattress picked by GQ and Wired Magazine. It is even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving your sleep. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash TMG. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Yeah, no, we, uh, we're doing the same thing. We, we've been doing the same thing. Um... Alina has been fielding a lot of the questions and stuff because she's kind of the director. She has the vision of what it's going to be. And I'm tasked more with like hitting people up and like getting responses. We're going to do it um, in a different country, like just keeping it tight knit, but talking to people in a different country, I've like figured out a game of how to get them to reply on time. I got to send all my emails out 
like after midnight. Okay. I gotta schedule them all. Okay. But if I send them at regular hours during our time, they will not. Because it's middle of the night there? Yeah, but they like culturally, they just don't go back in their inbox. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's like they. I think when they get their, when they wake up in the morning and they see their Gmail unread, it could be a hundred. They're like, <laughs> yeah, they just put the phone back down. <laughs> like, eh, they'll hit me up again if it's important. That's funny. Yeah. So, I think it's gonna be funny. Listeners from different countries being like, oh, that's got to be. I'm curious to see if anyone gets. It. I am actually curious what people would would think. Yeah. Yeah. Culturally, I, I think if you aren't speaking during business hours. It didn't happen. Yeah. Which I think is a great philosophy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. America needs that. Yeah. Email after five? It's not real. Yeah, yeah. We're so concerned with our inbox. Yeah. I It's constantly on my mind. Is it? Like, oh, how many emails? I got these 12 emails right now that I can't clear because they're like a gift card that I received that I have to spend. Mm. You know, like an email gift card, like yeah. for Christmas last year, like the year before, like 2020. <laughs> Yeah. My sister got me like a crate and barrel gift card. And I feel I, I need to buy something with it. Yeah. But I just forget. I keep forgetting. What? You have 10,500 emails. <laughs> so yeah, similar thing. I have 12, yeah. 10,000. <laughs> so similar. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's almost better, I would say, because it's just, now it's like a void. It's like a yeah. dumpster. Yeah. You know, you toss one banana peel in a dumpster. It's a landfill in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're not going to worry about that one thing. Yeah. But 10 little pieces of trash, I feel like that is more stressful. People have been trying to reach me for years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now know the truth. <laughs> yeah, like. I think I need to move. Strange family members. Yeah. And... I think I need to move to this place. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm on their time. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to say where it is? Not even the country. Like, are you worried that someone's going to like. What? Fine, I'll say it. Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're all jealous. I know. Wow. Yeah. Destination wedding. We're doing it at the Woo! Dave and Buster's in Myrtle Beach. I know. Dave and I know. Buster's? I know. I would fucking, I didn't want to, I knew people would be giving me shit. Like, yeah. I can't believe you would spend all your money. Your registry is just credits. Yeah. Credits on our card. Yeah. Credits on our D&B card. Yeah. Please. Would you like to buy us 5,000 credits? <laughs> 1,000 credits? 500 credits? <laughs> you can buy us... Um, Me and the lady love Pop Shot. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> we play ski ball together. That's how we met. Bro. And we can't stop playing that. You know what's wild is there was this couple that got arrested... For rob, they were robbing weddings. Um, have we talked about this before? No. They basically figured out this <laughs> easy racket where they would put on um, efficient type clothing, and they would just walk in during the reception and just take gifts off the table. Okay. <laughs> and just smile and say, "We're just gonna put them in this other room." Right. And everyone there would go, "Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure." And then the wedding planner would kind of run around and go, hey, hey, where are the gifts? And then someone's like, oh, some guy came and put them in another room. Oh, that's genius. There are so many, like, well, petty crimes. Like, Sorry, what are you? What are someone you? we know. Um, no, someone we know, like, their friends got hit by it. No way. Yeah. And, was it in L.A.? Um, no, I don't think so. But basically, part of, part of it was a gift card, and they used that gift card somewhere, and then the cops were able to get him on camera. The cops? What am I, 10? <laughs> yeah, then the cops got him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, otherwise they wouldn't have gotten caught because of that gift card. But yeah, petty crime. There, I there are a lot of easy thefts like that that I think about sometimes. Like, yeah. for example, the fucking pickup, online order pickup place of any restaurant, Starbucks, oh, Sweet Green, they're, whatever, they're getting walking their pockets there, grab ran a fucking every day. Dude. What? I'm saying they're getting their pockets ran every Just day. Just grab a coffee and walk out. Yeah. How the fuck are they gonna know? <laughs> grab a salad, walk out. Grab a fucking Chipotle thing. Walk. There's a shelving system. It's just there's a giant shelf and it says online orders and there's like just 30 free meals there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, for. That was for Steven? Okay, that must be Steven. Hey, has anyone seen my spaceship? Uh, I've been waiting like an hour. <laughs> Sorry, see you, man. 
Yeah, later, dude. <laughs> Good to see you. Now, I'm not saying I do these thefts. I've never <laughs> stolen anything, but I think about that every single time I go in there. Because th what I started thinking about it was at Coachella, the Starbucks, like, next to the place we were staying, was, are you going <laughs> to... <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting, man. Yeah. It's fucking... <laughs> nice shelves you got here. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to Starbucks and then what? Well, it was like, you know, it's like a music festival, so everyone that's staying within the vicinity goes yeah. to that Starbucks. There's like 5,000 drinks yeah. on the table. Yeah. It's like you could just walk in and just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pick up 30 of these drinks. <laughs> just spilling <laughs> fucking almond milk lattes everywhere. <laughs> walk out with those things and they'd be like, yeah, okay. That's Dog, you know what's like a nightmare in that same way is a Starbucks at an airport. God bless those people. Yeah. God bless God bless them for not just shitting in a cup and leaving it on the counter and leaving their shift. <laughs> like uh in um in Austin. Our flight was pretty early. I think it was 7:30 in the morning. And the line, I'm not exaggerating. It it's as if a supreme drop just happened yeah. or is about to release. It's th 300 people. And it's just four women in there just sweating. Mocha did it live for <laughs> ice fry. And you got all these dickheads like, I wanted one pump in there. <laughs> They're like, sorry. Did I say hazelnut? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you did. Like, they're just getting gaslit. Yeah. That's what I did. I just walked up and I was like, hey, hey. I ordered 14 bagels. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, it's okay, sir. Sorry, it's there's a line. Yeah, but I ordered these an hour ago, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here you go. Just. <laughs> Easy theft. Easy theft. Man. That's what I'm saying. And even how programmed people are at restaurants to say, you here for DoorDash order? Yeah. Or like if you just, what's your name? Uh, All you got to do is walk over to the, by the counter. And just and hold look your, at your phone, phone in the air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and be like, it's. You know, and look at one of the names and be like, Jeff. And they go, oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> like, it'd be like if you walked into, like, I don't know, where do you want to steal something from? Porsche. Okay. <laughs> it'd be like you walk into a Porsche dealership. Porsche, excuse me. Porsche. And there's, like, an online order section. There's, like, 10 Porsches just sitting right there. And you're like, oh, I got one of these. And they'd be like, oh, oh, by all means. <laughs> yeah, the keys are inside, so you can just <laughs> yeah. take them. You don't even have to talk to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, is my GT3 that I waited two years for ready? <laughs> oh, yes. What was your name? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Come on with me. <laughs> or I was being the guy who comes in after the fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Sorry, yeah. someone just drive away with my order? I don't understand. You just came in. Yeah. No, this is my first time in here. Yeah, but that guy had the same name as you. What? Yeah, you're bullshitting me. <laughs> You're trying to steal a Porsche, aren't you? <laughs> they go to the cameras. The guy walked in, is like six foot with like red hair, and the guy who took the car is like five two with <laughs> brown hair. You just didn't you? Work no, I'm pretty head? sure. <laughs> You're trying to get a second one. <laughs> was your head over the counter? I could have sworn. No. Scram! Get out of here! You already got your Porsche. <laughs> I'm trying to get a second one. <laughs> it's like just a nine year old with the keys. Yeah. No, that's you, dude. Yeah. yeah. No, that's you, man. <laughs> Damn, that's some fucking, that's some like, uh, I th I think you should leave type sketch. Yeah. No, that, that's you. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You got the same shoes on. I love that show. The kid has fucking Crocs. <laughs> hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, PayPal Honey. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports over 30,000 stores online ranging from tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. And if Honey finds a working coupon, you'll just watch the prices drop. Honey has saved me a ton of money, clothes, tech gadgets, and even pizza. I'm saving money on everything. It's also super easy to use. You can add Honey to your iPhone too. Just enable it on Safari and you can find savings on the go. 
If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. It's literally free, and it installs in a few seconds, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 easy thefts, man. There's got to be other ones, too. Petty crimes? I think that was all of just 19... 10 to 99. <laughs> yeah. I think only once phones got really good, like petty theft people had to resort to new means. You know, that's why now, like our, our <laughs> that dude we were talking about with the Dave and Buster scheme, you know, in 1930, he'd have been selling, you know, gold coins or some shit. Yeah. You know, this was a 24 carat gold quarter. Yeah. You don't say. Yeah. Worth a hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some other petty Well, it's crimes. just like modern, because even stealing something from like a CVS or 7-Eleven or something, it's like you got to walk by. First of all, the guy's like watching you, right? There's cameras. Is he? He's probably, probably, yeah. Like mirrors and stuff on the roof, you know? That's <laughs> the spot shop, shoplifter. Let me just ask, when's the last time you've been in a CVS? I've been in a lot of CVSs by way of the tour. So I'm curious, when's the last time you've been in a CVS? I'm a CVS expert at this point. Okay. Cause, um, like a month ago, probably. Because my experience in CVS is it's a woman no younger than 57 who is tasked with stocking the entire store. <laughs> and there's the one camera on the door that says, like, say hello. At the amount of people I've seen walk in and then just walk out with a toothbrush. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I've, I've See, seen. But, but that's different. That's different from walking past the lady and being like, this is mine. And her being like, oh, by all means then, yeah, take yeah. it out. Yeah, that is very different. Yeah, That's what, the, that's what this theft <laughs> is I'm talking about. It's bold. It's these stores are, have enabled you to just walk in and be like, this is mine now. That's true. And then be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pandemic has just murdered restaurants in all yeah. capacity, yeah. man. They can't make any money now. Yeah. <laughs> and the fucking owner of the restaurant's like... I'm sorry, I'm just noticing on supplies here of, of doing the math. We've given away, for every one meal we've sold, we've given two away for free. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like we're making every meal three times. <laughs> what What's the reason for that? Yeah. The shelf. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that is true. It's, it is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love technology, man. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any other point in, in time where you could have done that as a crime so boldly. It's blatantly. This is mine. Yeah. You probably... You, yeah, that might have been one of those sneaky ones you did over time. Just snatch someone's, you know, iced coffee at a bodega or something. Have you ever thought of it when you walk in? Fuck yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Have you? Of course. Yeah. It's like, why don't... People must be doing this all day, every day. Yeah. If you do it, I want to know. <laughs> Comment. You know, use an anonymous account or whatever. Yo. Yes, I do this all the time. Yo. Yo. I steal. The fucking, the social peer pressure, like, like someone grabbing a meal and then trying to, like, call them out <laughs> and give a good reason in front of a lot of people as to why you're calling them out. Yeah. Someone grabs me like, hey. And like what? Is that yours? Yeah. Everyone's like, says it's his. <laughs> Is it? Yes. <laughs> well then, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, what's the name on it? Jeff. What's your name? Jeff. Just when like, did you <laughs> what is it it's a salad ah. oh wait no 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 let me let me make this easier a dude who is a perpetual shelf thief always coming in at rush hour but only you the cashier know yeah okay and then you're lashing out at him okay. you're fucking in here every day yeah <laughs> no i'm not I, what did I do to you? And everyone's like, yeah, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> the yeah, yeah, they're just booing the cashier. And the cashier's like, what? I didn't fuck it. And then that guy's He's like right. walking out with the food. He's like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Outside the window? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Get fucked. See you tomorrow. Get fucked. <laughs> See you tomorrow. And it's, it's, <laughs> someone in the crowd the turns to the guy like, I'm so sorry he did this to you. Yeah, You're yeah. like, yeah, no, it's so random. Yeah, it's so, I, oh, I'm always getting targeted like this. It's fucked up, yeah, dude. it's fucked. I think, I, th- I think it's because of this, these ye- like, this Yeezy fit I have on. He's always calling me homeless. It's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, disgusting. I know. Yeah. Take the salad, dump it on the ground. Yeah. I'm not even gonna eat it. <laughs> no, he dumps it on the ground. Oops. Oops. <laughs> he dumps it on the ground and he goes, Oh, look what he made me do. He made me so scared. I dropped the fucking salad. Oh, make him another one. <laughs> yeah, make me another one. <laughs> what? He steals it every day. <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. You're a fucking dick. Fuck you! Make his salad! Make his salad! That's what you do if you get caught. (laughs) That's what you do. Yeah, just break down. Every time I'm in here getting my food, you're always fucking targeting me, man. What do you have against me? Yeah, what the way? Hey, hey. I'd show you the order on my phone, but it's dead. Yeah, his phone's dead. (laughs) Everyone. Oh, he's got a dead phone. What the fuck's your problem, dude? Your phone dies too probably sometimes, doesn't it? You know how it feels. You fucking asshole. Hypocrite. <laughs> That's so funny. Make us our fucking salads. <laughs> you fucking dick. Fuck you. Manager comes out. You should fire this guy. <clears throat> he spits in the salads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. fired. Yeah, it's just all kinds of shit. Then he becomes the this guy. This guy's been putting his dick in the salads, I've heard. <laughs> yeah. What? Yo, I saw him. He took a shit in my salad. <laughs> yeah, I saw him last week. He stuck his hand <laughs> in his ass and then touched the lettuce. I saw it. This is exactly how you did it. This is what I would have did. I'm just doing what you did. <laughs> That's what you did to my food. Is this true? His boss. Is this true? You've been putting your poopy hand in the salads? No, I, d- I didn't put my poopy hand in the You've salad. You've been putting your hand in your crack and then putting it in the salads? No, That's no, no I just... And then he loses his job. He becomes homeless. Mm-hmm. In an act of desperation during rush hour, he thinks, maybe I could just pinch off a bagel at the local Starbucks. Yeah. He goes for it. And they're like, hey, hey, hey! Is... He goes, no, oh, it's mine. And then everyone goes, that's the guy who rubbed his hand. (laughs) He rubbed his ass hand on my salad. (laughs) Now you're trying to steal? You piece of shit. Get his poopy hand off that bagel. He ruined that bagel. (laughs) I didn't put my poopy hand in the bagel. And that's the next Starman sketch. Yeah. (laughs) Right there. Yeah, and then it could. Guys, it's never a good (laughs) idea to accuse someone of stealing. (laughs) <laughs> if you accuse someone of stealing chances are you've put your poopy hands in someone's salad make sure to download the darman app in the app store right now <laughs> he has an app oh yeah dude damn does he have an app yeah what am i does saying darman have an app yeah does darman have a fucking multi-billion dollar media company yeah Yes, he does. You hear about that whale that ate those two women? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see that. You didn't see the whale that ate two women? No, I didn't see that. Let's have a look at this. This is this is the you know what this is? No. Holy shit. They survived. That's the only reason why we can watch this. See, I feel like we ha I feel like we have to laugh at this because you know, we've laughed at so many animals being hurt by humans that, that like... That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, this is the animal kingdom sending a shot back to us saying yes. like, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. it can Shut go down. Fuck up. It yeah, can I, go down both ways. Very like, quickly. It can go down We can turn the ways. tables very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we can flip this shit around, homie. Keep talking over yeah, there yeah, on yeah, land yeah. to see oh, what keep, happens. Yeah, keep laughing at the moose. Yeah. <laughs> keep laughing at oh, you're, where are you doing a where are you doing a long ass hike next week? <laughs> yeah. In the mountains, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, keep <laughs> laughing at the moose. Yeah. yeah keep laughing at la- some bears too, why don't you? Keep laughing at my boy Moose. Yeah. Keep talking <laughs> shit about my boy Moose. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's still recovering from that. <laughs> See what's good when my boys Billy Goat pull up. <laughs> when all my Billy Goats pull up. See what the fuck happens, dog. Yeah, let me hit my boy Mountain Line up real quick. Let's see how you fare on the mountain when my boy Billy shows up. Mm -hmm. He's hard-headed too, bro. Damn, dude. What what are they on? Are they riding like a water Segway? They're kayaking. Kayaking? Are they they're good? Yeah, they survived. How, yeah. What happened? So it also shows from their perspective. What? They were filming? Yeah, bro. GoPro. Dog. Oh my god. I mean, you know, you think you get a better shot of that. <laughs> like if something like that is happening to you, like pull the fucking camera out. That's all you the comments. The fish eye lens is not that hard. Oh, this is all the comments. Worst cameraman ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, cameraman is the biggest L here. <laughs> cameraman should have been eaten, dude. Yeah, man. Um, that shit is crazy. Damn. Wow. I'm. I mean, I'm glad that they survived. Yeah. Same. Do you see that dude who? No, wasn't there a guy recently like who got eaten by a whale? He had a, yeah. he had to harpoon his way out. Um, we talked about one. Like, yeah, yeah. We a talked about that ago, dude right? eaten by the whale. Yeah, he, and but he was like in the stomach. Yeah. And survived. He was in that whale's guts. Yeah, yeah. In the <laughs> it's this looks like California, is it? Yeah, that's, yeah. I believe so. This that, happened like two weeks ago. That's the Animal Kingdom letting you know. Jesus Christ! Go out there and surf, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so scary. Hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? That's how our brain works. So why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life, so it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. Um, there's even BetterHelp Online Therapy. A lot of you know I, I go to therapy. Um, it helps me a lot. Uh, therapy can just be a good sounding board for what's going on in your head, and BetterHelp wants to give you an avenue to have the same experience in your life. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. And our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash TMG. That's Better, H-E-L-P dot com slash TMG. I, I was surfing this weekend. There was dolphins like 10 feet from me. Sick. And they were, it was actually so sick. They were like doing that shit where they jump out of the water, like ride the waves. Yeah. Like right beside all the surfers. It was wow. crazy. <laughs> Until one of them just. Beautiful day. Ate someone's face. Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dolphin sound, right? Yeah. What's a dolphin sound? No, was, yeah, you're right. <laughs> sure. You're chilling. <clears throat> uh, I thought they were like, hey. <laughs> I thought they spoke like, hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, that's a dolphin sound. Hey. Hey, yo, what's good? Hey. Hey. You know what I did yesterday for the first time? Held a baby. <laughs> Never held a baby before. It's freaky, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those fuckers are heavy. There's. Yeah, who let you hold the child? <clears throat> Kelsey's friend came over. She has a six month child. Mm. Her and her husband came over. Nice little beach day. Yeah. And uh, they're like, do you want to hold the baby? And I was like, I don't, uh, I don't, that's, yep. I don't know how to. And, uh, you know, I thought it would be like real slippery. Mm -hmm. Fresh out. Yeah. What? Like fresh no, out. No, I had clothes like, on. I just don't know. You know, babies, like, what they're soft. What the fuck? I had clothes on? What do you mean? <laughs> what? The baby, the baby did. I said, the, he said he said it was it fresh out and I said no it had clothes on like it's like it's like a fully formed I thought baby. you said not nah I had clothes on I'm like what no no <laughs> he was saying like is the baby fresh out of the womb like covered in shit and I'm like no I just don't know what a baby he was covered in shit no <laughs> to be fair babies are covered in shit no it was just a normal it was a I mean it was like yeah. it was a good experience you know they're soft. Yeah, they are. They are really soft. I'm a, like, nah. I'm always worried. Like anytime I've held a baby, uh, I always throw it back. 
<laughs> Here, be careful. Uh, I don't ah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, they're, because I know their heads are soft boiled. Yeah. So I always, like, I just look at them and I just picture some video game hitbox, you know? Oh, yeah. It's it's on, like, minus two health. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm always like, yo, get this shit away from me. I feel like if I sneeze too hard, like, his face is going to go to the back of his head. <laughs> He's just going to deflate. It's, like get it, get it away. I don't, I don't want this responsibility. I know. I was really nervous. Yeah, really nervous. I did it sitting first, because that's like you know the the step towards standing. I, and I, and then, and, and then, and then, and then don't I you did hate it how encouraging they are. Yeah. Like, no, stand up, stand, do a spin. Do a stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toss him in the air. Yeah, he loves it. It's fine. No, I did it standing, and the mom comes out of the bathroom, and Kelsey's like, he did a standing hold. And she was like, what do you mean? Like, is that a like, trick or what, yeah. what do you mean a standing hold? Is he on a skateboard? Yeah. No, a standing baby hold. <laughs> I just think that's kind of funny. Yeah. yeah, I got 30 points for it. Tony Hawk's pro fatherhood. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> hold. Hold. Yeah. 500 points. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Kickflip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That baby in the little rat, like little, just, <laughs> just Big gets, spin. yeah, just does a spin. Yeah. A- anytime I look at babies, to me, I sort of envision them as though they're Dolly paintings. I just feel they're so soft and delicate that their eyes are just going to start melting off their face if I imbalance it the right mm, way. Yeah. You know, their mouth is just going to, so no, 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 don't do that. Yeah, the yeah. mouth is going to grow in the wrong place. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, take it back. Yeah. Take it back to the hospital. Yeah. Nice. Did it did it, did you get baby fever? Yeah, I mean I've I've had it for a bit. Baby fever? Yeah. Really? For sure, yeah. Definitely. You want a child. Probably 70% of the time I re- like I really want one. Mm. And then we go traveling somewhere or something. Or even even yesterday like hanging out with them, it was great, but they were like e- like just everything is the baby. Oh yeah. One of them was always carrying it, walking it, and they're like, Oh, it's just it's shit sleeping. Yeah. So we got it. And so everything was which I'm like ready for, but still it's gonna be a shock. This is to every the, to con- the lifestyle. This is every conversation with uh people with a newborn. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. What <laughs> Well, sorry, what were you saying? Yeah. So it's just it's just one second. Can you can you do up on me again? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, my fucking tits hurt. Yeah. Go ahead. I will say though, the amount of time they hung out with us for was perfect. Cause of the baby. No, no, no. I don't mean that in a mean way at all. I don't mean no, that in no, a mean I'm way glad at all. You are not gonna have a baby just so you could be an introvert. <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm saying it's good for an introvert. <laughs> motherfucker it's good for an introvert babe i just thought of the best way to get out of every social (laughs) interaction we just have a kid and then your kid grows up to be 18 is like bro you helped me out of so many shitty conversations (laughs) thank you (laughs) you've been my boy for the longest like straight up no but you know you've probably used the excuse before i gotta go feed the dog yeah you've used that before right I have. I've but, used that before. But I try to mean it. Yeah, I mean, you do have to, the dog has to eat eventually. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, a couple hours difference. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, for sure. I'm saying a baby is like the ultimate, like, it was great. I really loved hanging out with them, but they came over and we set up all the shit and we had a great conversation and then they were like, okay, we got to go, his nap, his thing, you know, whatever the fuck, his schedule, his nap and whatever. And I was like, great. Yeah. Okay. Hour and a half. In and out. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's you know just what I'm saying? The, the, I can't wait to do that. Then the others. Pop in. Yeah, we'll come by. But I don't think we can stay for that long because of his, he's got a, uh, we got to make sure he's a vet. <laughs> you know, I can't wait for that. So yeah, we'll stop by for sure. Pop in. Hi, how's it going? Good. How are you? How's wife? How's work? Cool. He, we got to go. <laughs> you know? Because then you still show face, but no one's like, oh, they left early because they wanted, like, their, you know, flakes or whatever. 
Yeah. So now they left over early because they have a child. Yeah. Sorry, I was just, I was really taken aback by that um, evangelical speaking in tongues. <laughs> I thought that was a message from God right there. <laughs> I was I was at a show and I was talking to some dudes in Salt Lake and I was asking him the dude I'm like are oh, your parents uh you know LDS or whatever the fuck they say he's like nah they're evangelical and I was like oh so your dad can eat pussy and then, we, <laughs> then I just started going in like you know he was using that shit on your mom that's disgusting but you know that right oh I like, see. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> just fucking going in. Let me harness the power of God right here. <laughs> I think the Lord's speaking to me. <laughs> Is Jesus supposed to feel this good? <laughs> Going in. Yeah. In. Honey, I'm getting a message from the Lord. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That's um. That's interesting. I didn't realize you had high baby fever. Yeah, yeah. I really am looking forward to it. Interesting. To be honest, I'm on the fence. The baby fence. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a really small fence. What? Like you don't? I don't not know sure if you're gonna have them. I don't know. Something I I, I weigh a lot. Mm. Do I reproduce? Mm-hmm. I kind of, you know, sometimes I like the idea of adopting. Okay. Ugh. Just drafting I mean, free ugh. agents. Was it? Yeah, I mean, you you turned out great. Casual. Ugh. Yeah, you turned out great. Did you get adopted? Yeah. That's why I said, ugh. I why? Wouldn't have, I wouldn't have said that if I, like, wasn't. Yeah, can you imagine? He just I, That's wasn't. what I thought you were just saying that out of nowhere. I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might, you know, adopt a, like an orphan or something. <laughs> Why? <laughs> an orphan? <laughs> Their parents died? <laughs> Gives me the ick. <laughs> Wait, so why do you say ick then? What What's wrong with adopting? No, He's joking. joking. Fucking, obviously, it's great. It's the best thing ever. Oh, you were joking. <laughs> oh, my God, Cody. Corbin Dallas. I thought you had like a, I don't, I don't know. I thought you maybe had a bad experience. <laughs> So you would you support adoption? <laughs> yeah, he was adopted. I'm just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, no, I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> oh, so you're anti-adoption? Hmm. You've been setting people up all past seven <laughs> days. So you're you're anti-adoption then? <laughs> funniest thing. <laughs> You've been funniest in- thing to be anti. Yeah. Ado- adoption. Yeah. Yeah, I'm anti-adoption. I don't believe that people should be adopted. I'm sure there's people out there that <laughs> no, think why, that shit. Why, what arguments could you possibly have well, for that? Well, because it's like a kid. Hey, guys. We want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code TMG. If you didn't know already, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. Uh, we've got the app on our phones, and it's by far and away the best way to buy Tickets. Uh, what's, See what's what, going down around what do we here. Got right now, brother. On Earth, I'll tell you what's going on. Padres at the Dodgers. Ooh. Bad Bunny, world's hottest tour. Ooh. Maybe. Uh, with so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. I'm talking the weekend, Doja Cat, Justin Bieber, Olivia Rodrigo, and so much more. I use SeatGeek every time I get tickets for anything. The process is super easy, and uh, the seats are always great. Yeah, and SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green obviously means good deal. Red means bad. Don't worry uh, about pricing because uh, we've got a hookup for you. Use the code TMG for $20 off. Tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. True. Yeah. 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 Nah, yeah, you you couldn't make any good arguments. Yeah, that's so, you know, I'm... Sometimes I'm intrigued by the idea of drafting a free agent. Yeah. A free agent, no contract. I'm like, hey, man, they didn't believe in you, but I see talent. Yeah. I see the way you color in in those lines. They're not, they're, yeah, they're not seeing, yeah. Yeah. You know, you get on that leapfrog and you get into that racing game. <laughs> 
I see your time. <laughs> I see you shattering. Okay, records. yeah, okay. So you're just gonna pick the kid that's gonna become a good racer. It could be a lot. He could be good anything. Yeah. But you know, to all my orphans out there, race car driving experience, <laughs> we look for that. <laughs> Here at the Miller household, yeah, we recruit all kinds of talent. But if you're fast on track, best believe. Okay, is there like an email or something they can reach out to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hit me up, man. <laughs> if you're an orphan out there, um, yeah, I don't know, bro. Uh, one, of, me and Alina, one of our friends had a really interesting argument for adoption. She said that she's interest. She likes the idea of adoption. And her words were, I don't know, it's it's a kid, isn't it? If you want the experience of raising a child that is a child, it's kind of narcissistic just to go through with one because you want it to look like you. Yeah. I was like, damn, that is smart as fuck. You should be doing comedy. You should do my job. Yeah. I thought that was- so you're hol- calling me a narcissist? Yes. For wanting to have a child. <laughs> no, the one that one that looks like you. Right, right. I, mean, I don't really care if it looks like me. What? Just some cucks on Reddit being like, oh, that can be arranged. (laughs) Cody, you bring up an interesting point. (laughs) I agree. There is something very exciting about it. Being someone other than yourself. (laughs) I try to convince her. She's like, no, it should be between us. I say, hmm. I really hope it looks like my wife's boyfriend because he's <laughs> hot. That guy is cool, man. <laughs> cool as hell. That guy rules, bro. He's so tall. <laughs> <sighs> nah, inverse. He's a cool little guy. <laughs> yeah, he's only about 5'4", but, you know, fucking hung like a truck. <laughs> Good guy. <laughs> Guy's got a fucking freight engine on him. You know? <sighs> that boy's got a schmeter. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's a kink, cucking yourself with someone who's not more alpha than you. Yeah. To piss you off. Okay. <laughs> that that that's going to be the turn of the century. Yeah. Big dick guys get their shine for years and years and then it's like, "You know what? Let's mix it up. Seeking one beta bull must be smaller than 4 inches. <laughs> Big dick guys are out of work." Yeah. They, so then the guy, the husband gets pissed that she's cheating on him with a guy with a small dick. Small dick and like unassuming stature. Right, right, right. How could you fucking cheat on me with that little runt? <laughs> so hot. So hot. <laughs> God, that is sexy. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of voices. You can tell I hung out with Hunter this weekend. Yeah. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you in person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Dude. Wait, how was Josh? Damn, that thing? sounded so crazy. Did you in person? What do you mean? Like, just because you left a gap in there? Oh, yeah. Did you in person? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys fuck in person? No, I mean, I didn't know he was in town. Yeah, he was in town. We hung out for a bit. How was Josh's thing? Oh, I didn't end up going because mm. I had to binge Love Island. Ah. I, <laughs> damn it. What happened this week? Oh, you know what happened this weekend? Amanda Nunes put a motherfucking clinic on. Did she? Ooh. I didn't watch it. I just saw Ooh. I just saw what's his what's his face? Pena? Is that his name? His? Juliana Pena? Oh, sorry. Who is the who's the guy? The the guy that won the last fight. Um wasn't it the main I no, don't know. N- n- he, Amanda was the main event. Oh, okay, sorry. The what the fuck is his <clears throat> name? He was all uh he he won by like the liver kick. Oh, uh, Brandon Moreno. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pooh, nasty. Yeah. The way it's wild. The way Kai Car French just fell. Yeah. He's like, oh, I know. I can't even imagine how painful that would be. That's. It's just so funny how the body has that has those motions. Yeah. <laughs> just ding, we're done. It's just crazy. It's crazy how you can get hit in the face and the head, and every other area of your, your body just mercilessly just yeah. beaten to a pulp. And then something about the liver is like, oh, okay, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> the liver. Hey, stop. The liver is just like a sensitive dad. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What did I say? Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the body's like, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. 
We gotta shut it down, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not looking too good, guys. <laughs> oh, I think we're good. Let's keep it going. Okay. Okay. Now you've done it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. No, Amanda Nunes beat the shit out of that girl. Did she? Was so they fought. I don't know how long ago it was, but Juliana Pena took the belt. She just kind of threw a couple hands straight down the middle, pop, 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 and then she. Uh, tapped Nunez out. And it was just such a, like, what? You couldn't believe it. And everyone felt, man, Amanda did not look tip-top. That was not her. She's got to come back. And did she? Yeah, nice. I put on your shoes, and I feel like you today. Nice. She came in and fucked shit up. Is that what I do? Sometimes, yes. Oh, okay. No, she can't. Yeah. That's what I do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I kind of feel that. Yeah. You give a good head yeah. nod when you like I something. I do like those shoes. <laughs> those are cool. Thanks, man. No, she um, she came in and just gently beat the shit out of <laughs> Juliana Pena for five rounds. Damn. She had this nasty, like, whipping right-hand hook. It, it dropped Juliana like three times in one round. It was... <laughs> It looks so slapstick because Juliana would just charge in and then she'd get done over and her eyes would cross Ugh. and she'd fall to one knee and then like her back and be like, Whoa, what, what happened? And then um, the last three rounds was... Wait, sorry. Okay, so was the last fight between them the one where everyone was like, holy fuck, I can't believe... She lost? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I then, watched that. We talked about that on the yeah, podcast. And yeah. then she came back to get her belt back. Wow. And she and did. Put on a goddamn clinic. Damn. She, uh, she, there's, there's these moments where she put Juliana like on her back and, uh, <clears throat> Juliana was like doing really good. Like to, she, it was like a spider. Like she's just like covering off, like you can't do anything. And Amanda Nunes would just find this way to slip out and then just fucking put an elbow like through all the madness and just fucking dunk and oh. see her head go into the mat, cut her open pretty decent. What a fight. One of the fights of the I year. It. One of the fights of the year. You can you can just go back and do it. Yeah. Increíble. So yeah, it was a good weekend. Um, let's get into the, the bonus. Boneses. Yeah, off to bon the bones. Boneses. <laughs> boneses zone. The boneses zone. <laughs> off to the bonus. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. This week on the bone zone. Jackpot. Oh, oh tone. Oh, tone. Fuck. I take tone to the bone zone. How about that? <laughs> All right. Ready? <laughs> oh my God. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at tmgstudios.tv. <laughs>